and Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. And this is our tech bit on finding and editing contacts. So um, you can uh, edit co your contacts. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the contact app, which looks like this right down here. And I'm going to tap on that and bring it up. And on the left, again, is all the contacts. And um, we have a lot of contacts in our book. And I have a friend who's changed her phone number. So I need to find her contact is the first thing. And it can be kind of cumbersome to go scrolling like this. So an easy way to find a contact is this field up here. And you can see in gray it says search with the magnifying glass. And that means you can type in search, which is a common thing you'll see everywhere in the computer world. And once I tap in the field, it brings up the keyboard, which means I can start typing. So I'm going to just type in her first name. And you can see it brings up all the Sallies in my contact book. I only have one here, but if you had more, it would show everybody. So I'm going to tap on her, and then here's her information. So I'm done searching. I'm going to hit cancel. The keyboard goes away. Then here's Sally's information. So I want to change her phone number. If you look up here on the right, it says edit. So I tap on that. And then it brings up her contact, and I can edit anything I need to. So she's got a new phone number. I'm going to change her number. Now I'm done, and of course you could edit anything you want to about her, this contact. And when you're done, you can see this edit has turned to done, so I'm going to click done, and her contact has changed. Another good way to find contacts, um, if you look here, are these little tiny letters of the alphabet. And you can just tap on, if I tap on you know, a letter, it'll bring up all the names in that letter. That it's, and it goes by last name. That's great. Another um, really useful way to find a contact is to use Siri. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to go out of the contact book, a contact app by hitting the home button. So we're just out in general. And let's say I want to call Karen or Sally. Let's say we want to call Sally on her new phone number. So I'm going to use Siri to bring up her contact card. So I'm going to hold down on the home button over here to invoke Siri. Siri, show me Sally's contact card. Which Sally? Oh, I have multiple Sallys. Which Sally? Sally Smith. Okay, here's contact information for Sally Smith. And Siri will bring up the card, and now I can go through and I could hit the, the texting icon right here. You'll see a little um, talk, talk bubble. That means I can go in and I can message that person or I could tap on the phone and call that person. Or I could just go into their card by tapping on it and it'll open contacts and bring up, oh no, I tapped on the address and it brings up the map. Which is, I love that one. great feature. Yep, yep. It's really nice when you're in your car and you wanna find someone, you just go to your contacts, tap on their address and it'll bring it up. Right in here shows me I'm 35 minutes away from Sally Smith's house. And you're in Apple Maps now. Yeah, you're in Apple Maps. Which is a great program. Wonderful program. It's just as good as Google Maps now. That's right. Watch our tech bit on um, Apple Maps to find out more about that. And it works seamlessly with your contacts like we just showed, which Google Maps doesn't. That's right. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters tech bit. And please subscribe to our channel.